Hey you guys, Sarah here from Southpaw Planning and today we are going to be setting up the month of May in my A5 Stology. So I thought I would do it a little different and do a voiceover and see how you guys like this. As always, I set up my title page for May and I just absolutely love those pink and white flowers. And I picked some mid-century circles to tape down as usual and some pink with yellow and green uh, washi tape to go down with it. So as always, I mess up trying to get this title page down. I have seen other plan with me's where they use a double-sided sticky tape. So I've purchased some of that and that should really help with uh, putting down the title pages and also like permanently adhere them. I still think I'll use the washi tape on the side because I really enjoy that decorative ac ac aspect. That was a difficult word to say. So now I'm gonna be setting up my calendar, which this is something I normally don't do with you guys on film because it kind of takes so long, you know, counting out the squares and creating the boxes. Um, so you guys can actually watch this and see how it's done. It's kind of time consuming. I almost wish like I could speed up, you know, a plan with me in real life, like fast forward it. So now I'm going to lay down some washi tape. This is that washi tape I was talking to you guys about the pink and a uh, pink with yellow and green. The yellow is a, these cute little birds. I really, um, I really love them. I use them in my um, B6 uh, setup as well. Super cute. And it came, I think I got this huge set from Amazon is where it came from. So now I'm gonna finish um, up my calendar here. And uh, of course, I always forget something. I am um, gonna bring to bring to the table some more washi here. So I brought in some yellows and some more pinks. So that rose gold pen that I'm working with is a pen from Erin Condren. I did a haul on on what I bought, and my pens were damaged. And I kind of just sat on it for a while, uh, you know, because it's kind of kind of a pain in the butt to call. Cause not not saying that Aaron, Aaron Condren is a pain in the butt to call, but just in general, calling customer service and trying to get something fixed. Um, Gabriel from Gabriel's Plans it. She suggested that I go over to Facebook, to Aaron Condren's Facebook, and just message them. And she said that they're super fast. Um, and she was right. They were super fast. They got, they were immediately responding to my question. And by the end of the day, I had a tracking number for my new pens. And probably about in a week, about a week later, maybe two weeks, I had my new pens. And normally I don't use them for this stuff, but that's just kind of what I had on hand. And I had a little bit of difficulty, and I think that's just because operator error. I hold my pens weird, um, being as a lefty, and so sometimes they don't write very well when I'm using the ruler. Because I've had that problem with other planners in the or other pens in the past. So I originally wanted to go with these peach stickers from the new Erin Condren, like their monthly kit like I don't know if it's a monthly kit or not but the peach just was not meshing well with the pink and the green and the yellow so I went uh, totally trashed that idea and just kind of winged it with the uh, markers and some other stickers just to kind of fill the space And here you'll see I messed up. I couldn't figure out why Mother's Day was landing on a Monday when I know it doesn't, 
<laughs> I know it doesn't land on a Monday. So I had to go through and fix the dates. Luckily, the pens, I mean the markers, the dual tip markers write pretty well on the whiteout, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So that's pretty much what my calendar for the month of May is. I'm going to add a couple of headers here, try and figure out what colors I want to go with. I have too many headers, I think. just so that I can put down my birthdays. And I also like to keep track of my numbers, you know, for IG and YouTube, not just on this page, on my other page. And then of course, here's my birthdays. I went from the month of April having probably like 20 birthdays, not really. It was probably, probably only 10. But in the month of May, there's only one one person and it's actually my my uh, husband's sister she was born on the 8th so it was a, a big difference from like trying to squeeze in all those people for April and then just having one for May so here I'm just trying to add a little more decorative aspects for the calendar and adding in my birthday and now I'm going to add my cleaning schedule not really a schedule it's just more like a cleaning list. Make sure that I'm getting everything cleaned throughout the month. So, and it's not something that's really fun to watch. So I'm going to skip right over that and add in my monthly tab here. I don't think I added my April monthly tab on the right page because for some reason like as I'm flipping through all through April trying to get to my month it wasn't like it wasn't lining up it wasn't making me very happy so but this time I got it right so I'm gonna do a quick flip through of April and how everything turned out I got a few things to fill in like my habit tracker and stuff, but I really enjoyed how April turned out. The colors were just so pretty and my tab is sticking. So, but that's about it for April and quickly here's May and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great one. See ya.